Right then, Mr. Greenwood, let's talk fantasy football. Now, this past week, some big, big clashes. For me, I was facing off against number two in the league. We had the exact same record and it really did go down to the wire. And yourself, you were fighting your, your relegation, your playoff adversary. How did it go down for yourself to start with Mr. Greenwood? Um, it, it always goes down and it always keeps going down and it doesn't come back up and it just keeps getting worse and it's more shit piled on top of shit and it's terrible, mate. My fantasy mm. team this year has been dross, pure and utter dross. Um, we always have one player who does unbelievably trouble hover this week. Sensational. Over in Germany, that boy had some breakfast. He was yeah. absolutely cooking up a little curry worst storm over there. Um, get me 20 plus points. Cheers, mate. No. Uh, where's the rest of your lot then? Why are you not showing up? <laughs> I, I ended up losing, mate. I think it was literally about 15 points. Uh, Brian Thomas Jr., Jr. for the Jacksonville Jaguars. He decides to have his worst week of the entire season. <laughs> Getting me like six points, if that. I don't even think it was that many. And then Hunter Henry as well. I brought him in. I needed a tight end. Brock Bowers was on a bye week. I thought, oh, Hunter Henry, let's get him in. It'll be a little safety net for uh, for old, uh, for old what's him called, May, uh, the quarterback over in. Uh, little safety net for Drake May. The quarterback over there in New England, he wasn't. He got me like three points. As well, I left Darnell Mooney on the bench. If I'd have started him, I would have won the game. Yeah. But why would you start Darnell Mooney? He's wank. Why would you start him? Um. So, to, yeah, it didn't go very well, mate, to be honest with you. It did not go very well. Um. But we're just looking ahead. That's all we can do each week, looking ahead and just seeing if we can find a couple of wins. That's all I want. A couple mm. of wins, a bit of momentum to go into the playoffs. Because I'm going to be in that game. I know I am. But I'm going to be fighting. Right? Fighting to my it's very last take a lot. It's going to take how a did, lot. How did you get on, mate? And, uh... <laughs> well, first of all, how did CD get on this week? I, I, I don't know if I missed him or not, Mr. Greenwood. Um, well, put it this way. The lad that I sent the other way ended up getting more points than CD. He did indeed. But, but you know what? I don't mind. Right. Is there a reason? I needed a wide receiver. I've not had yeah. Christian McCaffrey all season and I had the running back positions pretty mm. much settled. All right. Um, obviously, I'm getting Josh Jacobs back up into my lineup. Aaron Jones got some decent points mm. for me. James Cook got some decent points for me. So the wide receiver position has been one of issues. All right. Yeah. He did solid. He did solid. He he missed two touchdowns in the end zone. All right. <laughs> How are they? I, I'd have loved them bloody extra 12 points that they had got me, mate, because that would have won me the tie. That would have yeah. won me the tie. Six points for the reception, for, for the touchdown, a point for the reception, and I think it was probably about five yards out. So we're talking there, what, seven and a half points? No. Twice? Suddenly, that's 15 points, mate. That flips the tide of the game. Suddenly, I'm winning the, the Super Bowl. Do you know what I mean? It's as easy as that. That's that's as easy as it is in the, in, in this league. We're talking we're talking it's a game of inches. Yeah, it really, it is, really, really is. And speaking of inches... I think that is what I ended up losing out on by this week. I lost by less than a point. <sighs> and I tell you what, it was overdue. I, I, I was very lucky in the last few weeks. In my bye week, when I somehow masterminded a win with hardly any of my team able to play, I was I was asking for it. So you know what? If I'm going to lose to anyone, I don't mind losing to number two in the league. I'll get him back at some point, say the very least. But Does he, CMC, he go to number one now? He goes to number one, yeah. Your brother as well. Back to back, he's going back to back. No Can't chance. Not if I have something to say about it, tell you that much. Uh, but yeah, CMC, big, big acquisition for my team. He, he had a slow game relatively, but still came away with 16 points. And I'll take How? that. How? Because when that bad boy starts firing again, woo, we're going to be in for the absolute money. And I, I'm here for it. Um, I think my big call this week uh, was bringing in the Chargers day. Because I think they were facing the Titans. I knew there was going to be some serious points on the board. 22 points. Big, big acquisitions. That leads in for me. Target two teams right now. I want you to target the Giants. I want you to target the Titans as well. Throw the Dallas Cowboys in there if you want to as well. But target these teams that are absolutely arse. Whose quarterback is struggling for anything. These are going to get you points. Just make the most of it. It's not abuse if you're making the most of it, okay? And that's what we need to win these leagues and win these titles. Going forth, though, this week, Mr. Greenwood, who have you or what have you got as your tip for everybody for fantasy? You've mentioned targeting those weak teams and there's a quarterback on our waiver wire who is pretty good 
Mm-hmm. But he hasn't been playing very well, but he's playing the team that I absolutely dross. And CJ Stroud is available Ooh. and he's playing the Dallas Cowboys this week. So I can see <laughs> him getting absolutely thousands of points, put it that way, mm-hmm. as well on the waiver wire. Still, I do not know how this team has not been picked up. The Denver mm-hmm. Broncos, mate. The Denver Broncos yeah. are the number one ranked defense in fantasy. And yep. they are sitting there pretty on the waiver wire for me. So I might have to swap the Detroit Lions and the and the, uh, and the Denver Broncos over. Obviously, they are playing the New Orleans Saints, which are a very, very hit and miss mm-hmm. team. But against the defense that good, I think they're going to miss. The only other player that I'm thinking, mate, George Pickens, the CTE Pickens over oh, yeah. in Pittsburgh with Mr. Unlimited as his quarterback. Mr. Unlimited. Unlimited. The points that you get in there. Mr. 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 Unlimited. <laughs> yeah, you got to be unlimited. And the points are going to be unlimited as well for Josh yeah. Pickens this week. So I, for my advice would be trade for Josh Pickens, okay? He's yeah. going to be Super Bowl winner for the last kind of few games of the season. There's still eight weeks to go, or eight weeks of the season, but I think there's six weeks to go until the, uh, until the fantasy playoffs. Those are six finals, mate. Six finals. And the first final is this week between me and yourself, it mate. Is. Before we talk about it, have you got any acquisitions that you're going to add to your lineup? Any suggestions? Can, can you tell me live on the podcast now? Of course, mate. Of course, yourself? mate. I'll, I'll let you know. Now, I've got a very fun game going on at the moment, and it's called Wide Receiver Carousel. I've, I've got a strong wide receiving core. When Mike Evans returns, we'll be pretty much set. Tyree Kill, he can't make his mind up. Either he wants 70 yards or he wants 10 so he's a bit hit and miss, but we still ride with him. But I'm having so much fun with that last wide receiver slot. And this week, last week I put Hopkins in, didn't do too much. Tank Dell didn't do too much. But this week I've got a man. He's in the eye line, Mr. Cortland Sutton. Bo Nix is balling and he's balling to Sutton. That boy better get me 16 points. And if he doesn't... Wide receiver carousel, it begins in week 12 as well. <laughs> Not that it'll matter, mate, because you won't need 16 points to win. Yeah, you may, a, a ten, 10 points to do you, honestly. Let me tell I'm you I'm not that. joking. I just looked at our predicted. I think I'm on 140 without changing anything. And I think you're just about pushing 100. So there's, 117, there's a... I think it said. I swear yeah. it's 117. Let me double check that. rough, though. Pretty, pretty rough. How would it make you feel, though, to lose again to me in fantasy? Um... Bad. It would make me feel really bad. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm just looking at my lineup now. Yeah, 132 for you, 117 for me. I'm going to run through my team dead quickly and just see Go if ahead. anyone can suggest any changes, okay? Mm-hmm. So, quarterback, Jaden Daniels. Okay, I think that's pretty solid. Number six QB. Aaron Jones J- uh, and um, kind of Josh Jacobs as my running yeah. backs. Um, wide receiver, kind of duo. Cedric Tillman. Mark my words, another 19 point. He's coming, back. He's, coming he's back. coming back and he's here to stay. And Mr. C.D. Lamb, mm. tight end Brock Bowers, not changing him for the world. And James Cook, uh, James Cook in my wide receiver slash running back slot. Brandon Aubrey at kicker, Lions is my defence. On paper, an incredible lineup, Absolutely superb. You wouldn't change it for the world. But I'd change them all out in a heartbeat, Tadden. I'd redraft tomorrow. All right, let me tell you. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm worried for the season. But I'm not going to lose this week. All right. Because we you may just get knocked down. pray that the Niners have a stinking offensive week because I think half my team is Niners based. So if that happens for you, it could be a very, very good result overall. Mate, we, we may get knocked down, but when we come back up, we are taking a knee. All right. Dan Campbell, eat your heart out. You may be. You're there. You're there swimming at the top. You're there in the shallows. Right, we're in the deep. We're going to drag you out to the deep end and we're going to fucking drown you. All right, that's what's happening this week. Up the Osama Bin Laden. Come on, we're going to do it. Oh, oh, go on. 